Okay, so I'm making this video because I just recently discovered something about myself. And I noticed that I'm having this dream. In this dream I'm having, I keep having the same dream. And I have this dream about five to seven times already. And in the dream, I always know what's going to happen next. And... I thought it was because I was watching the show The Walking Dead about the whole zombie apocalypse thing. I was just like, maybe I'm paranoid and stuff. Because sometimes I think like that. Well, I know that stuff is real. Some people don't think it's real. But me, um, since I'm a Christian, I know it's real. And I can tell you exactly at the end of this video why I know it's real. So in the dream, it's me, my boyfriend, and my family. We're in this dungeon or this basement. And we're, we feel, I feel safe. I remember feeling safe in that place. Like, I felt like I, this is a place I can finally call home. And I know we've been through some hardships, but the dream really never starts off. The dream never really tells me what we were doing or where we was at or why we was running. It's just that I, I can pick up on these things. So, we, you know, I just felt like we've been through some stuff and that we're finally safe. But anyways... In the dungeon that we were in, or the safe house we were in, I realized I was hung. I felt like I was hungry. I there was no food. Food was scarce. Um, and I don't know. Everything seemed okay, but then zombies came and they raided our whole safe house. And I remember me and my family fighting them off, and my boyfriend. And I remember also me trying to protect my family, me trying to protect my boyfriend. And forgetting all about myself. And I realized in the dream I didn't care if I survived. I just wanted my family and my boyfriend to survive. And then the dream always ends with me fighting off one zombie. And a zombie biting me. And then I usually wake up. Now I thought that these dreams were not really that serious. Until I started going to Bible study at my aunt's house every Saturday. And we watched a video about this african-american boy and he had a dream kind of similar to mine but in his dream his family and him they when this whole apocalypse broke out they ran back to africa and my aunt was after the video it was a 10 minute video on youtube my aunt was preaching about the video and all of a sudden it comes to my head that maybe i should share these dreams i'm having and i told her yeah, I've been having dreams just like the boy. And she told me they're not dreams, they're visions. And you need to share these visions with people. Because when Jesus comes to people and gives them visions, he's doing it so you can share them with other people. So you can tell them what you experience. Because some people are see it to believe it type of people. But it's not what you see that you need to believe. It's just what you feel that you need to believe. And so this whole... The reason why Jesus showed me these visions is because the rapture. And I know when I was little, I was on the train and a lot of, well, sometimes women will come up to me and they'll be like, the rapture's happening soon. You have to give your life to Jesus. And I used to laugh at them with my friends. I know we've all done it and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that lady's crazy. But that lady's not crazy. That lady's smart. She's really smart. She's trying to help you. She's trying to help me. And she's trying to help the whole world. And she's just doing what Jesus sent her to do. And that's just to make sure that we all make it to heaven. The rapture is when Jesus is going to come and take his holy people. Because the devil is going to come up here and destroy everything. So before that happens, Jesus is like, no, my holy people, those are my people, the devil. You can't touch them. So he's going to come and he's going to take us. And he's going to take us to heaven but only the holy ones can go and being holy means being obedient and obedience is having the fear of god in you everything you do you have to think to yourself is this of jesus everything you think and you say it has to be of jesus and i'm not saying i'm perfect because me i've I was disobedient for a long time. 
Jesus will send people to me to talk to me and I wouldn't listen. I would still do things my way. And I noticed that I went, I have, I went through some hardships because of it, because I didn't want to listen. And recently I just been focusing on Jesus and the kingdom of God. And I realized things are really turning out good for me. So I noticed that being obedient is not sinning, not not leading into temptation and not feeding my flesh and my flesh if well, our flesh it does not belong to us our flesh is not ours when Jesus comes and he takes his holy people the only thing he's taking is our soul our spirit our flesh will stay here he doesn't care about the flesh the flesh is tainted with by the devil the devil always wants to get into people's heads so he uses our flesh against us because you know some people don't have self-control to handle themselves and me i didn't have self-control to handle myself either i'm not gonna lie i'm not perfect i'm a sinner that's what i am but you can be a sinner but the it's how you overcome being a sinner and how you fight it that's what makes you a holy person and that's what is going to get you into heaven and I can say all this stuff about heaven and Jesus and the rapture and I bet you a, a lot of people still won't believe me but that's your choice if you want to believe me or not but I'm still going to do my job as a Christian woman and I'm still going to pass on Jesus' legacy and I'm still going to try to help as many people as I can to make it to heaven. I don't care if I help just one person make it to heaven. You know why? Because I helped one person. One. I don't care if I don't help everybody. But that's my goal. But even if I don't, I'm still not going to feel defeated because at least I got one person. That's something to be proud of because the mind is not easily changed. People in America, they're arrogant. They're stubborn. They're too much into their way, so it's really hard to break somebody out of their bad habits. But if I could get into one person's mind, if I can influence one person to change and just really be focused on Jesus, I will feel much better as a person and I will feel like I completed my mission here on earth. And what a lot of preachers and pastors don't preach in church is that the number one reason why people won't make it to heaven is because repentance repentance is admitting to jesus that you have sinned some every day i repent for my sins you know why because i don't know if i'm sinning sometimes i'm sinning i don't even know so i still repent just to be on the safe side because jesus said anything unclean cannot enter the gates of heaven and i'm not taking that chance just because one little just because one little tiny sin that could have been repented for that I didn't know about and I don't make it to heaven and I go to hell and I burn every single day nah I I, like, I can't go down like that so I'd rather be on the safe side better safe than sorry to be quite honest and people they think it's a joke oh hell you burn every day but honestly you can joke around with this and you can watch this video and then just be like I don't care about it, but when that day comes when you're in heaven burning every day, you're going to remember me, you're going to remember this video, you're going to remember this message that I'm trying to give to you, and you're going to be like, damn, I should have listened to that girl. And a lot of people, I I know a lot of people are not going to listen to me, and you know that's okay, that's on them, but at least I did my part as a Christian, at least I did my part sharing my vision that Jesus gave me, because Jesus doesn't come down and give everybody visions, he gives the ones that he knows are going to really, really try to get his message across and really try to change the heart of a lot of people. So I just want I just want people to realize that Jesus is coming. I just want people to realize Jesus is real, and I just want people to realize the rapture is happening soon, and it's going to happen sooner than we think. It's going to happen when everybody's having so much fun and everybody's not... The, the, everybody doesn't have a care in the world the rapture is going to happen and you don't want to be that person that's like damn I missed the rapture you don't want that so I really think that people should start changing now and really focus on God and start by reading the Bible the Bible gives you a lot of wisdom I've started reading the Bible I notice I'm more at ease I notice that problems that I've been having for a long time I can now control them 
which I never thought. So just please keep that in your minds. And I just want to say God bless everybody. And I hope that I really touched a few people's hearts with this video.